Dave, it's been a wonderful weekend, hasn't it? It's been a fantastic community weekend, Ray. It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, just a variety of activities that we've had going this weekend. There's been something for everybody. It's been brilliant. It started on Friday night with the Martin Gray evening down at North Allerton there. That was well attended, about 50 people there. It did, probably more than 50. I mean, we took the trophy down and uh, Martin gave his after dinner speech. Um, about one or two of his stories through football and, and that went down really well with the audience, we were very appreciative and again the trophy was just you know something to be seen, something to be touched, something to have the photograph taken with and that was a good start. And the same happened again with the trophy on Saturday didn't it? At, it did, at the carnival. Saturday we went out twice with it, we went to Darlington Carnival in Stanhope Park in Darlington uh, in the afternoon. We were there for three hours and we had non-stop uh, non stream of people wanting to just to touch it, just to, to say they'd seen it, to have the photo taken with it um, and just listen to their stories of the season. You know, they wanted to tell us about what the season had meant to them and how much looking forward to the Eva Stick next year. Brilliant. There might not have been much time to listen to stories on the night though with the, with the gig. It was a brilliant gig, a local band, local band Ordinary Affair um, three lads, one's Darlington, one's Newton Aycliffe, one's Stockton um, and they gave their performance absolutely free of charge they didn't charge a penny so their fee was obviously given back to the fundraisers and that night alone, Ray, Saturday night, raised a thousand pounds which is just phenomenal and it's just hats off to the, uh, to the fundraising group and now Sunday Sunday the Seven Aside Tournament it is, and again, what a fantastic community event you know, because we've had people come out who haven't been associated with Darlington before. You know, and this is what this is what pleases me because we're reaching parts of the community that we've never accessed before. You know, and people have come out in support of us, uh, given us their money, and have a had they've had a great football day too. And it's people across a variety of ages, isn't it? It's fantastic. Again, you know, you just look around at the people that have been here. There've been people who who have played and probably now are past their prime. Um, and there's young up and coming lads who want to want to play and we've seen them all play together on the same pitch. Tell us more about the trophy on tour because that is going down superbly isn't it? That, well, how, how many bookings have you had for that? Now? Well it's 138 Ray, I mean we said at the end of the season we said that there's absolutely no way that we would not keep this trophy you know away from fans you know this is you know the, the, a fan owned community based club and we feel a responsibility to take this trophy around its community um, and again I've received 138 requests you know to show this we we've passed the 80 mark you know it's actually been to 80 venues it's been to schools it's been to social events um, like the carnival yesterday it's, you know we, we've we've passed the 80 mark already and by by the end of the close season we'll have probably done most of the 138 so but people can still see the you, absolutely they can, just they can ask you to bring the trophy along just go events, simply on the website or even to their place of work anywhere just simply on the website my email address is on there um, let us know where they want it, when they want it, how long they want it for, and we'll try and meet that need. Uh, and just you know, let them have that opportunity to see it, to have it.